Hello and welcome everybody, my name is the IT Guy and in this video we'll have a look at how to mirror a hard drive in Windows. So mirroring a hard drive, also known as putting it in RAID, uh, in RAID 1 that is, is basically something that you do to get a one-on-one -on -one copy of a hard drive. So basically there are two, there are multiple types of RAID, but generally speaking we speak of either RAID 1 or RAID 0 and RAID 5, but I'm not going to go into too much detail about what these drives are but if you're talking about two hard drives most likely they will be combined with RAID 0 or RAID 1. Uh, RAID 0 we're not going to talk about that in this video that's actually when you merge two drives together to create a larger one for example merging 500 gigabytes and 500 gigabytes together to create one big one terabyte hard drive but we are talking about RAID 1. RAID 1 is a mirror and a mirror is actually basically when you take a 500 gigabyte hard drive and you take another 500 gigabyte hard drive, for example, of course, it can be, it can be whatever size, uh, and you put them together, but they're actually still 500 gigabytes. And the only difference is that the one drive is always copying onto the other. So that's basically what a mirror is. So I already have my hard drive set up here. And my hard drive, I call it mirror. I have some files on here, so that's the good news. You can keep your files. You don't have to format your drive to create this. If you already have a hard drive, it's perfectly fine to just add a hard drive to the PC and you'll be good to go. Now, that being said, there are some things you need to keep you need to consider. First of all, you cannot do this with USB drives because the drives need to be dynamic or they need to be dynamic drives and USB drives cannot be dynamic drives. So it has to be a physical hard drive. So that's one thing you'll need to know how to do. You'll need to know how to put a hard drive in a PC, connect to say the power cable, connect to say the data cable to the motherboard and then use that internal hard drive to mirror the files on the already existing hard drive. And second of all, you'll need to make sure that the drive you're copying to is at least the same size. It cannot be smaller. It can be larger, but it cannot be smaller. Of course, if you're making a mirror, you want to be sure that that mirror is exactly the same size. If you want to have a 500 gigabyte hard drive mirror to another drive, then that other drive needs to be 500 gigabytes or bigger. Those are the two things you need to consider. But now let's get on to how to do this. Actually, let me quickly minimalize this. And let's go into our start menu by right clicking it and going into disk management. Now, if you just connected the hard drive, chances are that you have not yet initialized it like I have here. So you'll need to select either MBR or GPT. For disks larger than two terabytes, I always recommend using GPT. If it's just for data storage, it can just be MBR, but I'm gonna pick GPT because I already chose GPT for the first drive. So you want both partition styles to be the same. And hit okay. And now it is online, but there's still space unallocated that's fine we don't need to uh, allocate any space to the second drive we just need it to be unallocated and we just need to be online so now we just actually click this drive over here this is the drive that we uh, were looking into so we have the mirror drive the e drive um, and we want to of course keep the files so we don't want to uh, don't want to delete the content on here so if your second drive was already initialized and you want to recycle a second drive you can easily do that by just uh, clicking the partition that is already on the drive and you just right click it and you just delete the volume and then you'll have the unallocated space as well but as you can see that's already the case with my uh, example here so i am just going to click mirror so the e-drive i'm going to right click it you know i'm going to uh, add the mirror and then gonna select disk two. So it's labeled disk two over here. I see that as well as here in here. I'm gonna add the mirror. It will tell you that the disks will be converted to a dynamic uh, disk and that there are all sorts of things that uh, will not work with dynamic disks. For example, you won't be able to use it as a USB drive anymore, as USB um, external drive. Are you sure you want to continue? You just hit yes. 
and then we just wait for a couple of seconds or minutes depending on the speed of the drive so the first thing you'll see is that it's resyncing then it will start syncing and it will count up to the percentages until it's up to 100 percent and we'll get back to uh, when it's done so after a couple of seconds or minutes or maybe hours if your drive was filled with data this should be the result you should see healthy at uh, in the disk management so the status should be healthy and that's the way it should be always if there are any problems windows should automatically correct it but uh normally when you use the drive the way you, sh you normally use it there shouldn't be any problems so this was just me showing you how to create a mirror on windows i hope you enjoyed this video guys and if you did please leave a like and a comment below and if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye bye